All right, so let's see how would you share a PDF document or any document, Word document, maybe you want to share an assessment or an ebook, maybe you sold an ebook, you want to sell an ebook. So if you need to share a link to a downloadable electronic document, then here are two ways to do it or two and a half ways. Uh, you log into your WordPress site, so this is for WordPress sites. Um, slash wp dash admin and hit enter and then you have a couple of choices here uh, by the way always make sure that you update I have to come back and update my plugins because that can create vulnerability uh, issues and hackers can hack your website so always update whatever you got here to be updated plugins and themes so once you're in here, you go to your media, uh, or you can just click on add new. So hover on media and then click on add new. And you select the file, you click on select file. Um, let's see, where am I here? My client attraction, okay. So let's see, uh, build a million dollar coaching business, okay. And so you would use this if you want to share it in your newsletter. So like your in your Aweber, you want to add it to your Aweber autoresponder or whatever autoresponder you are using. And um, let me increase the screen a little bit. Okay. Um, so once you edit it, it shows up here. You can click on edit. And you can grab this link here. You can um, triple click, click three times to highlight it, you copy it or you press Control C to copy it and then you can add that link to your newsletter. Now another way to do this is to go to your pages or or posts and just click on add new or actually you can use this method if you are adding it to an existing page. Let's say you created a download page or a thank you for requesting my freebie page so once you're on that page then you click on add media and you follow the same steps basically so here you click on upload files select files and then you pick uh, let's say online presence crash course open and if you need the URL then you grab it from here copy and you insert it into the post. Now here, once in the post, since I copied the URL, I can do a couple of things. And there it is. It appeared. I didn't have to do anything for that. So I center it. I increase the font size. And you might not be able to increase the font size if you don't have the plugin. And just as a little bonus tip, I will show you how to get that plugin as well. Uh, I know for me it was really annoying when I couldn't modify the font sizes. So now let's say I'm writing copy. Thank you so much. Congratulations. This and that. And then I want to say click here to get the cool ebook. Right? So you can highlight it. Or again, I like to just triple click. And then here's your insert link button and you paste that link in there that you grabbed earlier. I like to open it in a new window. Not always, but when it makes sense, then open it in a new window. And here it is. And that's about it. Um, and again, you can take this same, well, what did I do? You can take this same, yeah, don't forget about your undo button. If you screw up anything, you can always just undo and again you can just take this link and and uh, share it with your subscribers through your oh because i clicked the x button <laughs> so you can share this link uh, through your aweber or one shopping cart or whatever autoresponder you might have so have fun with that so let me show you really quickly how to uh, enable this font size change 
you go to plugins add new yes I will leave this page because I don't need this yeah make sure that you publish you click click on publish yeah otherwise you lose your work so here we click on search plugins I mean in that little search box and type in there I just type in their font let's see what do we get here and we have easy Google fonts and this is it use any font so look you, you can search for use any font since now I now you know what it is I usually forget what it is I just type in font but here it is use any fonts as you can see it's already installed on my computer so I don't need to install it but that's how you get those co that cool feature to able to be able to uh, modify your font sizes all right that's it that's how you share your uh, documents with others and make it downloadable oh let me show you one more cool thing um, a really important little cool thing so I'm trying to go back let's see if it lets me if not it doesn't matter oh there we are so um, I showed you how to create the link right but you can also add the cover you create you go to fiverr.com right fiverr.com with two R's I, I believe it works with one too and for five bucks they can create a really cool book cover for you so when you give people a downloadable document uh, a freebie especially when you give away a freebie it's great if you create a really great looking cover so what you do you go to uh, again click on add media upload files select files and then upload your um, your book cover let's see where are my book covers book cover and you upload that one there and some believe that the title and alt text and the description help you with the SEO so um, some people say that it doesn't matter much I always put in something in there so instead of having it as a 3d bundle I would say 90 days to a successful service business right and then here I would put a little description and the alt text I would say something else like start a successful service business okay and then make sure that the size is not this big <laughs> so this is giant um, a even 800 is too big so it should be under perhaps 400 pixels or whatever that is so this is still very big so it will come up pretty big now just because you drag it it doesn't mean that it will get smaller so you need to you can edit it right and you can click on on here to lower the size or you can just double click and write in your own numbers 250 let's say update um, that's too small but it depends what you need it for like for an opt-in offer this would be a perfect size if it's the download page already I would make it bigger and you click on it you can either click on the edit but I like to you use it here so click on the insert link and this is the URL for the image so if somebody will click on my image they will just get to a page where they will see the image so I will paste in here my PDF link so check out this cool thing so we publish it then you click on view post and I I right click on it so I see it in a different window open link in a new tab right and here it is and check this out now you click on that or the client clicks on it or your prospect clicks on it 
and it will take them straight to the PDF. There you go. And again, here I would have the 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 cover of the product on the first page. So always try to look as professional as possible. Um, try to impress because that's how you get in the hearts of your followers and your clients. So try to always come across as professional as possible. Uh, what I do, I always provide people a description of what to do or instructions on prescription inst instruction of what to do. So here I will say oh, it doesn't let me okay so I will say uh, click on the image above uh, right click right click and I will make it bold and I will increase the size of all of it but right click on the image above and and choose save as to download to your computer or click on it to view it online okay now I like to be a little fancy so what I would do what I would do um, I will increase the size okay so if I say click on it to view online I will also add the URL here make sure it opens in a new window or a new tab I will edit this one as well. I forgot to make it open in a new tab. So check this out now. View post in a new tab. Okay, so now if they click on this, the document will open in a new window. This will still stay open, so once they close the ebook or whatever freebie you gave them once they close this then they will get back to the original page they can explore your blog post or whatever other calls to actions here you have maybe they can add some comments so um, that's it that's it so it looks like it worked it did move my <laughs> cover down but for some reason oh there it is now i can add my text in here also okay so that's it let me know if you have any questions